Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Breast Cancer Physio. I'm your host, Jen McKenzie, lymphedema physiotherapist and ESSA accredited exercise physiologist. In this episode, I'm going to be teaching you how to reduce scar pain and tension if you've had a mastectomy. I've done a few other videos on scar pain and I've done another video on how to reduce pain after a lumpectomy, but I really needed to make this video because this video has actually been inspired by a couple of amazing women that walked into my clinic on Monday morning this week. I'll tell you about them in just a second. But if you do enjoy this content and you would like to see more, then please subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Give this video a thumbs up, which you can do just below the video and leave a comment in the section below and let me know any questions you've got around scar pain or any other topics around breast cancer that you're interested in hearing more information about. Okay, so let's get into this video, how to reduce scar pain and tension after you've had a mastectomy. So firstly, I just want to mention these two amazing women who walked into my clinic first thing Monday morning. They've actually inspired me to make this video today. They presented um, as my patients usually do with a history of breast cancer. But what was a little bit different about these two women is that the first lady had had her breast cancer in 2012 and the second lady had had her breast cancer in 2006. So yep, we are talking about breast cancer treatment that occurred 11 and 15 years ago. Now, both of these women had had mastectomies. One had had a bilateral mastectomy, so both breasts removed, and the other one had had a unilateral mastectomy, um, meaning one breast removed, but both of them had the same problem, which was scar pain from their original surgeries. So yep, you heard me correctly, they were both suffering scar pain. 15 and 11 years after their breast cancer treatment. Now, the sad part of this story is I've actually seen this before. It's not uncommon that scar pain can perpetuate well beyond once treatment has completed. So this is actually a video I've partially made as a bit of a plea to the medical and health professionals out there who work with patients who go through breast cancer. If your patients report scar pain, please, please, please refer them on to someone who can actually treat that scar pain because a lot of the time when patients report scar pain, they get told, oh, that's cool. Yep, that's normal. That'll go away in six weeks, six months. Some sort of time frame is given to the patient, but I can tell you right now that the large majority of scar pain will not just magically disappear until it is actually treated. The other nice thing about scar pain, of course, so is that it's actually incredibly easy to treat. So if you're a medical professional or a health professional and you are looking after patients going through breast cancer and they talk about their scar tissue being tight or painful, please get them on to a health professional that can treat that scar tissue, which is typically a physiotherapist or an occupational therapist, even a massage therapist or a lymphedema therapist, which can even be a nurse who's had extra training in lymphedema. I'll also apologize because there's a gigantic storm going on in the Sunshine Coast as I'm filming this video, guys. So if there's a little bit of thunder, lightning in the background, that's what's happening right now. So sorry about that, I can't control the weather. Okay, so as far as uh, treating mastectomy, scar pain and tension, I'm going to talk about four treatment techniques that you can employ in this video um, to reduce your scar pain or tension. So let's get into them. Treatment technique number one, of course, is massage. Now I've done another video. I'm just gonna put a link to that video up here, which is how to reduce scar pain after breast cancer treatment. So just briefly, I'm gonna recap on massage as far as um, how to use massage for scar pain and tension. So the first thing I'll say is that the more effective massage techniques are firm. So um, we don't want you to feel like you have to hurt yourself unnecessarily, uh, but I can tell you right now that it's better to apply firm pressure um, rather than really soft pressure because the firmer you can tolerate, um, the quicker your scar is going to become more mobile and then that's going to reduce tension as well as pain at the same time. Now, firm pressure has got to be tolerable, like I said. So you don't want to actually go so hard that it's so uncomfortable that you'll never do it again in your life. So just make sure that when you start that massage, make sure it's to a level you can tolerate, 
but certainly know that the firmer you can press, the better. I'll just leave another link up to another video I've done, which is how to start treating sensitive scar tissue, because sometimes there'll be people who are watching videos like this going, I'd love to treat my scar tissue with a bit of firmness, but I can't even better look at it or barely touch it. That video that I just left the link to guys is definitely one for you to go and watch. Now, with massage, I generally will always say to my patients, um, make sure you only do this once a day because if you do it too often, you'll make the scar area sore. And again, if we make it too sore, then we're gonna turn you off from doing anything at all. So just make sure you stick to once a day and do it most days of the week if you're really trying to get ahead with um, reducing scar pain and tension. So I, I'd like to think that it's not gonna be a forever job after breast cancer to keep a scar mobile. Um, radiation treatment can definitely make an impact on how long people have to treat scar tissue for. However, I think um, if you get going with scar tissue and you do a really solid you know, period of treatment on that scar, um, ultimately you might not have to do as much treatment down the track on that scar. What's really interesting to me though, is that the, um, when women have a mastectomy, the, the pressure that is described by patients who've had a mastectomy um, they, they often talk about it as if it's like a vice around their chest. So we're, we're going to talk about massage obviously in this video as a treatment technique. But the second thing I'm now going to go on to is another totally separate tissue structure that gets affected when you've had a mastectomy. And this is really getting back to this description of this vice-like feeling. So it's almost like someone's just pressing their chest together. It doesn't have to be always that severe in how it's described, but it is quite a common report that I get in my clinic. And this can be women who've had a mastectomy six months ago or 12 months ago. And then like I introduced to you um, earlier in the video, those two ladies who'd had their mastectomies done 15 and 11 years ago. So that feeling can hang around. So the tissue structure I'm talking about as my second treatment technique is mobilizing the rib cage. So the rib cage can become stiff and your posture can become affected, particularly when you've had a mastectomy. So again, I'm gonna leave a link to a video I've done called Improving Your Posture After Breast Cancer Treatment. And that video goes into a lot of depth about how to use a particular piece of equipment. I'm just gonna go grab it now. This piece of equipment is a foam roller and they are a you know cylindrical, this piece of equipment is a foam roller and it is a you know cylinder shaped piece of foam. It's quite dense foam. And this is the piece of equipment that I use in the video called Improving Your Posture After Breast Cancer. This is what will really help mobilize your rib cage, guys. And if you have had a mastectomy, um, the rib cage plays a major um, role in how well you're, uh, you know, you can open up your chest, take a deep breath, stretch out your arms, rotate through your body. So if you haven't got on a foam roller, and um, learn or been, or been taught how to use this foam roller to help mobilize your rib cage, check out that video that I put a link up to before because that is a really, really important um, uh, treatment technique that you can use to reduce this sensation of this vice-like pain that, um, and tension that women get after mastectomy. Treatment technique number three to reduce mastectomy scar pain and tension is a product called Mobyderm. Now I featured Mobyderm in a few of my other videos. I'll just put another link to another video that I've done which features Mobyderm. Uh, it should actually be in the video on how to reduce scar pain after breast cancer. It'll also be in the video um, how to reduce breast pain after lumpectomy and radiation because I use Mobyderm all the time. The other good news is that for my um, people that follow me in the United States, I've actually found an equivalent product 
um, and I'll put a link in the description bar below. Um, it's from a wonderful company called Bright Life and they're called Medi Lymph Pads. So I'll put a link to Moby Derm and to the Medi Lymph Pads in the description bar below if you're hunting for these products because um, Moby Derm and Medi Lymph Pads are fantastic for breaking up scar tissue. This is a product, guys, that you can basically wear directly against your skin. Um, make sure, of course, that it doesn't cause any skin irritation like rashes or skin breakdown. And if that does happen, then definitely stop using the product. But ultimately, this is a product that should be able to be worn directly against the skin. And as you're moving about through the day, it's helping massage. So it's a great complementary treatment technique to the massage that you can perform yourself. On the note of massage, I should also say that it is fantastic to get a therapist that is well-trained and specializes in breast cancer to help you break up your scar tissue. It's really damn difficult to hurt yourself when you've got a tight, painful scar and you've got to start getting into that scar by yourself. Um, one of the best things you can do is actually get a therapist to help you break up that scar. Another bit of thunder. I'm not scared of storms. Um, and so, yeah, get a therapist to get into that scar and, and it really does help you learn how much pressure you can safely apply, how effective that pressure can be. Most of the time when I treat someone's scar tissue for the first time, and this, you know, certainly falls in the circumstance where they've had a mastectomy, even when they've had a mastectomy from years ago, like these ladies on Monday morning had, and within, you know, 10 ish minutes they're getting up going oh wow that that really feels a lot looser and that's just a massage that's not adding the moby derm in and it's not adding the foam roller in so once you actually start to layer these treatments all together where you're addressing the scar the soft tissue around the scar um, and then the rib cage which is obviously lying directly behind the skin the scar um, then all of a sudden you've got a much freer chest. You can open up your arms, you can take a deeper breath, you can rotate through your rib cage, you can stand up better because literally the tension from a tight mastectomy scar is going to pull you forward. Um, that scar tissue is that profound and it's a really underrated problem in the breast cancer space. I talk to my patients all the time about how scar tissue is like the uncool kid at the party. Like nobody talks about scar tissue until Till they've really got a serious problem with it um, and one of the other things I say to my patients often is that women are really really good at putting up with a lot of issues with their body um, particularly in breast cancer where you know our wonderful medical professionals really do um, save our lives extend our lives but when it comes to women reporting aftermath symptoms such as scar pain after breast cancer we tend to get this attitude of like, oh, I better not annoy my really busy medical professional. And it's like, guys, you, you have to annoy people about this. You have to speak up. You have to keep pressing for help. Um, and ladies out there, please don't just put up with scar pain because it doesn't have to be a new normal. You don't have to live with scar pain. Yes, there is some scar pain that's really tricky to treat, um, but the large majority of the time, this is a really simple problem to fix. So let's just summarize what we've gone on so far. So we've done massage. We've talked about, um, you know, the fact that firm pressure is really effective and it's safe and that a therapist doing it for you um, is a really good way to get kick start started and, um, and, you know, get a little bit of confidence moving forward with treating that scar yourself. Then we've talked about Moby Derm or Medi Lymph Pads um, and go and check out these other videos, guys, that I've left links to because that'll help give you a much more in-depth picture of how to use Moby Derm, how to use Medi Lymph Pads and also how to perform scar massage. The third thing we've talked about is the foam roller, which is going to really loosen up your rib cage. And again, go and check out that video on improving your posture after breast cancer. The fourth treatment technique is stretching through your pectoralis muscle. Now this is the icing on the cake, shall we say, because it feeds into all of the problems I've mentioned above in the sense that if your scars are so tight, they're, they're pulling, your for, pulling your posture forward. This muscle, which is the pectoralis muscle, is going to get short through here because your shoulders tend to come forward, particularly if you've gone from having breast tissue and then your breast tissue is removed and you've got a major shape change. 
So a little bit like the tall kid in the class who slumps um, to make themselves look the same height as everybody else. Um, women who've had a mastectomy, particularly a bilateral mastectomy, will tend to cave a little bit to hide their new shape. So what happens here, of course, is the pectoralis muscle gets tight. And that's another reason that, you know, just literally lifting your arm up to, to do something with it um, can feel restricted. So I'm going to leave a link um, to a video I've done previously called How to Treat Stubborn Cording. So I'll just put the link up in the corner here. The reason I'm putting this video in here is because in that video, I teach you how to stretch your pectoralis region. It's got a little bit of a bias on nerve stretching that video because of course I'm talking about cording, which is nerve tension. However, isn't it interesting that a lot of women get cording after breast cancer and also get scar tension from breast cancer treatment. So if we put those two things together, it's not uncommon that women who have really tight scar tissue also have cording problems. So you can t kill two birds with one stone by doing this more um, sustained, a little bit more aggressive, shall we say, stretch for stubborn cording, but it also will target the issue that if you've got a tight mastectomy scar that is causing you pain, that by doing this pectoralis stretch, you will really help yourself out in a lot of ways. The stretch is essentially putting your arm against a door frame or a flat piece of wall and then rotating your body away. So check out that video that I've just put the link up to before and that will give you more of a visual as to how to perform that pectoralis stretch. Thank you so much for watching this video, everybody. I hope you've really gained some great content in here. Please, medical professionals, if your patients are reporting scar tissue pain and tension, refer them on to the appropriate allied health professional that can really help ladies who've had breast cancer who have scar pain or tension, whether it's after lumpectomy or mastectomy, don't expect this to be your new normal. There, as you can see from this video, there are plenty of treatment options that you can do from your own home quite easily. Um, on that note, I will also leave a link um, in the description bar below as to where you can purchase a foam roller from, as well as the Moby Derm or the MediLymph pads. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will be back here next Tuesday with another video, so stay tuned for that one. Hope you're having a great week wherever you are. I'm Jen McKenzie, the Breast Cancer Physio, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.